Now that Woodgrove Bank has configured their Hyper-V cluster, they can take advantage of live migration, which is one of the most compelling new features of Windows Server 2008 R2 Hyper-V. Microsoft includes live migration at no extra cost with Hyper-V. No extra licensing is required to use live migration, and VM live migration can be managed from either Failover Cluster Manager, System Center Virtual Machine Manager 2008 R2, or Windows PowerShell. The Hyper-V Live Migration feature will allow Woodgrove Bank to reduce costs and increase VM uptime for users. During this live migration, we are also using a script to send a number of email messages to the administrator's email address. Here we are using the Failover Cluster Manager to migrate one of Woodgrove's Exchange servers, SEA EX03, from SEA WSHV01 to SEA WSHV02. Although there are three ways to initiate a live migration, Woodgrove Bank may choose a certain tool to initiate a live migration based on that tool's relative strengths. For example, PowerShell-initiated live migrations can be automated and scheduled to occur at times when a human operator may not be present. The VM queuing feature of VMM enables users to do multiple live migrations without needing to keep track of other live migrations that are happening within the cluster. This feature detects when a live migration will fail due to another live migration already in progress and queues that request for later. The amount of time it takes to move a virtual machine by using live migration depends on network connection speed, bandwidth, server load, and RAM configured for the virtual machine. If live migration fails, the virtual machine continues to operate on the source node with no disruption. We can see that during the entire live migration, email continues to flow into our administrator's Outlook inbox with no interruption. Woodgrove Bank can use Hyper-V's live migration capability in a number of ways. They can make it easier to carry out host server maintenance by migrating VMs away from the server needing maintenance, carrying out the needed maintenance, and then migrating the VMs back to the original server. Users will experience zero downtime, and Woodgrove Bank's IT staff will be able to do host server maintenance without scheduling a maintenance window. As we'll see later, VMM 2008 R2 and System Center Operations Manager, or Ops Manager, can work together to translate host server utilization data into ideal placements for VMs. Together with Hyper-V Live Migration, System Center can move running VMs whenever resource requirements change. This can be automated, but now we'll use VMM 2008R2 to initiate a manual live migration to get the Exchange server back to its original host server. Here you can see that the Exchange server, SEA EX03, is now owned by and running on SEA WSHV01. Before we use VMM 2008R2 to migrate the Exchange server back to the second Hyper-V server, let's take a look at how the new processor compatibility mode works. This new feature of Hyper-V R2 allows live migration across different CPU versions within the same processor family. For example, you could migrate from Intel Core 2 to Intel Pentium 4, or from AMD Opteron to AMD Athlon. This capability enables live migration across a broader range of server host hardware. Processor compatibility mode can be configured in both VMM and the Hyper-V Manager console. In this case, we'll use VMM to enable processor compatibility mode for SEA EX03. When you use Windows PowerShell to initiate a live migration of a virtual machine, more than one live migration can occur at a time. The move-cluster virtual machine role commandlet is used to initiate a live migration. So as you can see here, the live migration has again live migrated the Exchange server to the second Hyper-V host. This is an example of how live migration can be used to migrate VMs away from a host that needs service and then back to that host after the service is complete. All of this happens with no interruption in VM availability to users. In the next segment, we'll take a look at how live migration combines with VMM to enable dynamic load balancing.